Good morning. The worst experiences are what make you happy. This is day seven of become a new person in 30 days. Subscribe if you want to be part of the challenge. So if you can't learn from the worst experiences, you can't learn from the best. Look, what we're going to be talking about is if you can like learn some stuff from bad things that happen to you or like seemingly just straight up negative things, if you can learn from that, you'll be happy. As in like, that's like, you need to kind of go through that suffering in order to see some change as an individual because you've had to deal with the shit. Also, how to not be arrogant, become a fetus. I have been very arrogant. Doing jujitsu, they tell me that I need humility. I don't know that much compared to some other people. I know things that they don't know. And also be aware that your beliefs, your prior beliefs will stop you from, from taking in new information. Try and avoid that, be a fetus. Live 30 years of life in just 10 by learning from every conceivable event. Every word that you speak and every action you perform casts a vote for a particular identity. Again, by one of my favorite books, Atomic Habits by James Clear, that people like clearly have read but fucking don't use literally i've not seen any evidence that anyone like demonstrates anything in that book i don't know what the fuck's going on there but uh, whatever anyway so it's actually weird if you ever catch yourself saying things like it's all their fault or you know why is it always me or why isn't it like this what if that i'm such an idiot i'm anxious i'm really socially awkward i used to say those ones be careful what you say you know this you know this, but you need to realize how easily they compound. You probably say shit you shouldn't be saying multiple times a day. You'll wake up in 10 years and you won't be very pleased with yourself and with life. How to not be arrogant, become a fetus. Yeah, you are you might like have trouble letting go of certain beliefs, which is called cognitive dissonance. Best said in the Big Les show. You won't accept the reality of what is because you can't let go of what you thought was. That's how it is in life. You think you know stuff and you don't. My jujitsu teachers were talking a lot about this, like yep, letting go of old beliefs, be silent and observe. Here's another quote by Jim Rohn. We can have more than what we've got because we can be more than what we already are. Things cannot be permanently bad because you always have some capacity to grow. How to become the kind of person who sees beyond the earth's surface. This is something I call intention, focus, reflect. As you walk around the world, focus on the conversations people are having, the thoughts that are in your head, the people that you speak with, the tone in people's voice, and connect it all together, the sounds, the birds singing, all of it, and piece it together. Some people can do this automatically. If it's not automatic for you to connect to all these dots on a day-to-day -day -to -day basis, then you need to build a system in order to do this kind of universal observation. Reflect on all of the things that you focus on for the rest of your life until the day you die. I'm going to give you a system which will include you probably bringing around a notepad and a pen to places that you go. I don't do that anymore. I use an app at night time. An associative habit to perform intention, focus, reflect. Habit one, associate placing your wallet or purse on your desk or table and then place the notepad and the pen next to them. Associate that with then putting the wallet in your pocket or the purse in your bag and then the notepad and the pen. Associate that with walking out the front door and speaking this reconditioning sentence. I'm so glad that I have the capacity to learn so much stuff about the world just by being curious about people and observing and observing them and myself. Let's take on the day. And then you go and you observe things, which you'll get better at over time, if it's not already natural to you. And so say that with arriving home, going straight to your desk or straight to the same location where you can sit down. Associate that with sitting down, pulling out the notepad and the pen, which you should then place down and associate with writing, what just happened when I went out? You can leave it at that, or you can go once answered, get your fist on the desk and ask another question to answer. How to learn very fast. Don't talk, never speak. Try not to make excessive small talk and speak because there's an awkward silence or because you think someone should say something in a social interaction or group. Observe people and just be silent unless you don't need to be. Last quote of the day. The number one thing that non-stressed people have in common is the understanding 
that lessons can be learned from anything, even conversations and situations that seemingly share no relevance. The Peaky Pines Playbook, chapter two, verse nine. So that's it. This was day seven of Become a New Person in 30 Days. I'll put a playlist here, check it out, or you can subscribe to get notified of each video every day. Or perhaps if you're wondering what the Peaky Pines Playbook is, it's intricately related to something I like to call the Peaky Pines email community. Third link in description is young people who are trying to feel better about who they are and to grow in some aspect that they think is important. We've got a Discord community and I'll send you notifications for each video that comes out in the challenge. Third link, or begin the 30 day challenge by finding your purpose with everybody else. Second link, quick recap. If you can't learn from the worst experiences, you won't learn from the best ones. So you need to be able to go through intention, focus, reflect, which in a way you do by using systems like the one that we went through, the associative habit. And throughout the associative habit, you recondition yourself with the reconditioning sentences. Don't be arrogant. Understand that you don't know what you don't know. So you just need to be a fetus and understand that every word or thought or action that you perform casts a vote for a particular identity. Each time you're eating food and feel the need to watch something as well, you're demonstrating that you're the kind of person who can't simply enjoy one thing that they worked hard for making their meal. And you need to be overstimulated by things that don't really make you happy. That's it. Bye-bye.